Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about the hypersensitivity reactions. In my previous video I discussed about type 1, 2 and 3 reaction going to the type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. Now the type 4 hypersensitivity reaction is also known as T cell mediated hypersensitivity reaction because it is initiated by T lymphocytes. And the T lymphocytes, both CD4 cells and CD8 cells, they play a role in this reaction. The CD4 T cells are also known as T helper cells and they lead to a delayed type of hypersensitivity reaction. Whereas the CD8 cell, they lead to cytolytic type of hypersensitivity reaction. Firstly going to the CD4 hypersensitivity reaction that is the delayed type. Now in the delayed type of hypersensitivity reaction, when the antigen enters into the body, it is presented to the antigen presenting cell. And antigen presenting cell like dendritic cell, macrophages, they display the antigen to various cells. Here they present the antigen to the CD4 T cell. And now the CD4 T cell releases various cytokines. The various cytokines are released by the antigen presenting cell also. So that the CD4 T cell further differentiates itself into Th1 cell or Th17 cell. Now, the Th17 cell will uh, mostly lead to recruitment of neutrophils and monocytes and Th1 cell, uh, it activates the macrophages for the inflammation and uh, clearing of that antigen. Now, going to the uh, how these antigen uh, cytokines are released so that the CD4 T cell converts itself into Th1 or Th17 cell. The cytokines like interleukin-12, interferon gamma, they lead to mostly conversion of CD4 cell into Th1 subset and the cytokines like interleukin-6, interleukin-1, 23 and TGF-beta, they lead to conversion of CD4 T cell into Th17 subset. And now these Th1 or Th17 cell, they are, they are known as the affector T cells. These affector T cells, they have a further function. Now here we can see, this is the antigen presenting cell and it is presenting the antigen to the CD4 T cell. Now the CD4 T cell here has converted itself into Th1 cell. The Th1 cell further secretes various cytokines like interferon gamma. Here we can see interferon gamma and interferon gamma further activates the macrophages which lead to um, in some cases formation of granuloma and in some most of the cases it leads to clearance of the antigen. Also TNF is released. There is release of interleukin 2 which has an autocrine growth factor like effect on the CD4 cells. We will discuss this in detail. Now, firstly we saw in this diagram that the Th1 cell was secreting the cytokines and cytokines like interferon gamma which lead to activation of the macrophages. Now, mostly the activated macrophages, they will eliminate the offending agent. But if the activation remains sustained, then it leads to continued inflammation and tissue injury over that a part. Um, example of that inflammation is granulomatous inflammation, which we see in case of tuberculosis. Here, now the interferon gamma activated macrophages, they have various roles in the body. They firstly have ability to phagocytize the microorganism. Secondly, they express more MHC molecule on the surface of the antigen presenting cell. Therefore, uh, facilitating further antigen presentation, they also release various cytokines like TNF and interleukin-1 to promote the inflammation and they produce more interleukin-12. The interleukin-12 uh, further amplifies the Th1 response and now if the Th1 response is amplified, it will produce more of the interferon gamma and interferon gamma will further activate the macrophages and therefore if the organism or the uh, my microorganism is not eliminated by this 
रिस्पॉन्स दिस विशेष साइकिल विल कंटिन्यू एंड लीड टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ समथिंग नोन एज द ग्रैनू लोमा नाउ वी कैन सी द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डिले टाइप ऑफ हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन द क्लासिक एग्जाम्पल इज द टूबरकुल रिएक्शन टूबरकुल रिएक्शन इज प्रोड्यूस बाय इंट्राडर्मल इंजेक्शन of ppd which is also known as the tuberculin and this tuberculin is derived from the tubercle bacillus normally in a person who is previously sensitized either by infection or by vaccination induration will appear and uh, in around 12 hours it will reach a peak in around 72 hours and there are afterwards it will subside this classic example of a uh, in the case of tuberculin reaction is due to delayed type of hypersensitivity reaction now uh, what happens uh, morphologically is the activated macrophages uh, the, in the granulomatous inflammation the activated macrophages they transform themselves from the epithelium like cells uh, because the macrophages they have different shape but when they are continued activated they change themselves into epithelial like cells and they are therefore referred to as epithelioid cells and the epithelioid cell they are slipper like cells and whenever the epithelioid cells they aggregate they are known as granuloma and mostly they are covered by a collar of lymphocytes and such inflammation is known as granulomatous inflammation we are not discussing granulomatous inflammation here in detail but granulomatous inflammation is a type of delayed type of hypersensitivity reaction now here we can this picture we can see uh, this is a granuloma we can see this is this is a granuloma and the granuloma here is the giant cell this total part this is the granuloma this is the giant cell here we can see another giant cell we will discuss granulomatous inflammation in another video now other example of delayed type of hypersensitivity reaction is also contact dermatitis which is due to contact with the poison ivy now second part was the reaction due to cd8 t cell that is a cytotoxic type of reaction this is not a delayed type of reaction which is mediated by cd4 cells cd8 cell lead to cell mediated cytotoxic reaction in this uh, type of reaction the cd8 cytotoxic uh, cells they directly kill the target cell they kill the target cell by mainly perforins and granizymes and these are the enzymes the mediators which were already present in these cd8 cells in their lysosomes and they directly kill the and uh, target in this case and the example is normal in the normal body mostly a virus infected cell is killed by this mechanism where the viral peptides they are recognized by cd8 cells and it is uh, removed from the body sometimes uh, uh, because of increase of the cd8 response it can also lead to cell damage especially like seen in viral hepatitis a uh, classic example of cd8 uh, mediated hypersensitivity reaction uh, is also type 1 diabetes which is also a t cell mediated hypersensitivity reaction this uh, was all about the hypersensitivity reaction type 4 type uh, do like share and subscribe to this channel if you like this video ask any queries regarding the topic thanks for watching this video